Hey guys, it's Jeff here. I want to talk about Cydia version 1.1. It is out. It's available. Uh, you can go ahead and go into Cydia and upgrade to Cydia 1.1. It brings a lot of nice features to Cydia. Now this is a pretty major upgrade to Cydia in my opinion. Um, what you're going to notice right off the bat is that it's faster. Um, it's trim, it's slim, and it's fit. Uh, so Cydia runs a lot smoother uh, that I've noticed uh, when comparing it to the old version of Cydia. Now, if, did you notice that? It didn't come up to the normal Cydia page when I just loaded Cydia. It came up to my previous, you know, previous item that I was working on prior to closing out of Cydia. What is this? Well, this is something new. This is the resume where you left off feature in Cydia. So although multitasking, true multitasking isn't here with Cydia, uh, you can resume right where you left off. Once you close it out and you open it back up again, you're right here where you left off. Now, if you're a heavy jailbreak, tweak, or app downloader, this is probably a very welcome feature to you to be able to resume right where you left off after you close out a city or you reopen it. There you are, right back to where you uh, were at first. So that's a great feature and probably one of my favorite features of the new city. Okay, you thought that was cool? Well, watch this. What is that? That's SB settings, of course. Now, in the previous version of Cydia, of course, you were not able to load SB settings or use any activator action, for that matter, uh, within Cydia. But now, very handy feature. You can use your activator while in Cydia, meaning you can pull up SB settings. You can manage your iPhone settings while using Cydia, which is, again, very welcome um, addition to Cydia. Now, what else do we have here? Well, improve search. No longer do you search and it just takes forever to load. There's a new search algorithm. And not only that, there's a new search, just the way it looks. It performs much better um, than the previous version. Notice this. If I just type in, let's see, Switcher Plus. Look how speedy that is. And look how small the result list is which allows you to quickly find what you're looking for. So the searching feature is much improved over the previous version as well. So let me install, uh, let's see, Switcher Plus. Go ahead and install that. Look how quick that loaded for one thing. That's another nice thing about Cydia. It's faster, like I said, it's slimmer, it's trimmer. And then when you install it, you'll notice a little different UI when it comes to the uh, installation looks a little more like, I don't know, it just looks better. The text is bigger. You can actually see what's being installed down here. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just works a lot smoother. It seems a lot faster. Okay, so that's the new city, ladies and gentlemen. It's available, of course, for free for um, jailbroken iPhones. So if you aren't using a new city, all you need to do is open it up. You'll get a prompt asking you to make the essential upgrades, make those upgrades, and then you'll be on Cydia version 1.1. Now, how can you check which version you're running? Well, it's pretty easy. All you need to do is open it up, go to your Cydia homepage, and you want to swipe down until you get to the bottom, and then you'll see the version of Cydia, Cydia 1.1.1. So how do you like the new Cydia? Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com.